As the conservatives ride a wave of support from opinion polls, the party wrapped up what's likely its only policy convention before the next federal election. The gathering in Quebec City attracted a record number of more than 2,500 delegates. And they now have recommended a diverse set of policy proposals they want their party to campaign on. Our David Aiken looks at what's being proposed. Let's bring it home! Conservative leader Pierre Poilievre fired up delegates Friday night with an hour-long campaign-style speech. And on Saturday, the delegates got down to the hard work of picking the policy priorities they want Poilievre to campaign on. This convention started with 60 policy proposals, but half of those failed to make the final cut. Among those that passed, conservatives want a foreign policy that is tougher on China, an expansion of rail infrastructure, including high-speed passenger rail, ramp up investments in clean technology while supporting oil and gas production. We value environment, economy and our health. It's about jobs and balance. That's what Canadians want and need. Thank you. Our energy transition policy highlights how the federal government can work with local communities to meet the future energy needs of Canadians. Prohibit discrimination based on vaccine status. Ban minors and those with mental illness from medical assistance in dying and ban gender-affirming medical treatment for minors. This is not just a federal or a provincial or municipal issue. It's around the world. We need to stand up for kids. Among those policies that failed, conservatives rejected a call to defund the CBC and its French language service Radio Canada. That's because such a policy could have hurt the Conservatives here in Quebec, where RADCAN is seen as an important cultural voice. But under the party's rules, it is the leader, Pierre Poiliev, who has the final say on what policies will be in his platform. He can reject some that were approved this weekend or bring back some that failed. And there were some grassroots Conservatives here that thought that gives the leader too much power, and they had put forward a proposal to change that. But that proposal failed. So what will be in the next conservative election platform? Well, we'll likely have to wait a couple of years to find out until the next election. And it's an election not likely to take place until the fall of 2025. Farah.